Scooby, what is it? What, what's going on? What's going on? What are we doing today, huh? Something is obviously happening. Coda, do you know what's happening? No idea, not as hyped. Coop, what's going on? What's got you so excited? What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! How does he know? What's up, guys, and welcome back. The long-awaited new boat reveal is finally here. You guys know a couple weeks ago, we announced that we were selling our old boat, and uh, of course, we weren't just gonna sell it and not get something else. The boys love the boat, we love the boat, we've got something a lot crazier, a lot more expensive, a lot more beautiful. I, I'm, it's honestly, like genuinely, not even joking, this is like my prized possession. It, it's, you know, nothing even comes close to it. The Jeep, the GTR, anything else, I, I guess the only things I care about more are the living, breathing things in this household and then this boat is in like a close second. So we actually filmed that last boat ride video quite a while ago. Like it's it's been a few months since the boys have been on a boat and we did it that way just because we knew there was gonna be a transition period. We would wanna get used to the new boat and all kinds of stuff like that. So we've had it for a bit. We've made tons of memories on it with just the two of us and with our friends, but this is genuinely the first time the boys are actually getting on it and going for a ride. Okay, so we are gonna put our shoes on. You guys know a couple weeks ago, we practiced with the shoes. Good boy, Koopy. So obviously, once they learn now that when the shoes go on, they get to go on the boat, I think it's gonna become a very exciting thing. They're gonna be a lot more willing to put them on. How they fitting, boys? Feeling good? Look at that, Coda. Not as awkward as you were a few weeks ago. Already kind of getting used to it. We're proud of you, buddy. Good job. We got the crazy train here as well. Go, boys, let's go, let's go, let's go. To the boat, to the boat, to the boat. Coop's got the right idea. Coda's making his way there. Might have a little pit stop, but I think he's in route as well. Yep, pit stop was necessary. Coda, come on. What's happening, buddy? What are we doing? Do you know? It's beautiful, isn't it? He decides he's a lake dog with the shoes on. By the way, a lot has changed since that boat sale video. You guys can see the lake was so high in that video. It's so low now. Emptied all his tanks so we don't go on the boat. That's a good boy. So obviously with the new boat, there's a lot of extra stuff you have to do. One of which was getting this lift here put in. We also need to have electricity run from the house down to the dock so we can just have a switch for it. For right now, we're running off of generator power, which means it's big, loud, and hot. Let's get this thing in the water. Yeah, that's not the most ideal way of doing things, but uh, eventually we'll have electricity come down and we'll just have this switch. We won't have the need for this, but uh, we're good to go. Come on, let's go. Hop on over. Oh, that's that's not the way I was thinking. There's a pad right here. Coda, that's not the best way to get on either. You see those fish, Coop? They are all over the place. Can you guys see them? This is a nice little swim platform for Coop to be like two inches from the water, be able to hang out and watch. Coda? Um, what happened? Come on, Coda. Come on, good boy. You got it. I know it's a big jump. Dakota, Come on. It's literally thicker over here. Good boy. Uh, I don't know why we're... <laughs> good job, buddy. He's so nervous. Coda, you're right, buddy. This is the area I thought you were really going to love on this boat. So you guys know he can be a little bit lazy. He likes to lay down on the boat, but he also likes to be up with the breeze in his face. It's like a big bed. You can lay down and you can have the view. You can have both. Well, okay, we'll work on it. We're just gonna turn around for now. I think it's safe to say he absolutely loves it. He loves that back platform. I didn't even like, so this is called a swim platform. It's for when you're in the water, like wakeboarding or wake surfing or anything. It's an easy way to get back up on the boat. I didn't think that he would love this as a fish viewing platform, but. I didn't think of it as that, but right? he loves it so much. <laughs> It's time to go. Coop, come here. Cooper, come. Cooper, come. He's got a new obsession. Come on, good boy. Yeah. All right, let's stay in here. It's time to fire this baby up. <laughs> also, notice how Chelsea's is guarding the back swim platform. We don't want to be back there when we're moving.
boys we made it cool what do you think do you love it I saw you up front. Now in the selling the pontoon boat video, we said that we would have less space on this boat for the boys. I think we might actually have more. What is happening down here? Dude, you can put the leg down. The... I think we have more space. And also when they have their shoes on, they can go up on the chairs, so. Right, so the shoes are for this. This is really, really nice leather. It's very soft, it's incredible. I like put stuff on it every couple of weeks to keep it super nice. And that's why I don't want like their nails digging into it and scratching it and stuff. But if you guys remember in the pontoon, so we had two couches in front, which is kind of what we have here. So right now it's in like the bed position. So you can kind of lay out like this. A layout like this these are armrests right here you can bring up so you can have multiple people up here but we put that down you can also transform it you can take this center piece out and now it's more bench style seating so you can have multiple people sitting around it like this or if you're coda come on coda come here if you're coda you don't feel like laying down you could stand right here in the middle just as he used to on the pontoon perfect modeling action you work it, buddy. Also to note, we do have a little gate here we can bring across, and we've got this windshield. So, Coda, we'll see you in the next episode, all right? You just stay up there by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we could just put them both up there and then enjoy ourselves back here and just not have to deal with it. I'm just kidding, buddy. I would never lock you up there. Now, in here, of course, we've got lounge seating, even more seating than we had on the pontoon, which is great. Nice big captain's chair. It's got like a little bolster seat here. Chelsea uses this when she's driving. It's a booster seat, but on a boat it's called a bolster. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Helm up here, really nice touch screen with like backup cameras and all kinds of stuff. This is one of the fanciest boats you can buy for wake boating and of course I had to have it. All of the storage underneath is incredible. We could literally throw Cooper down here and we would never hear from him again. He'd probably really, really enjoy it. It goes all the way through. 12 inch subwoofer on each side. We've also got four tower speakers across the top and I've got a plan for that here in a minute. You guys may have noticed there's a trash can in here. It doesn't have a bag in it currently, but how do you throw things away, Chels? How do you keep the boat nice and clean when we bring all those treats out here for the boys? You just use the nice little trash door. Captain seat is heated. His first mate seat is heated and then we actually have these things pull out so these will take heat from the engine. You can put this like under your towel when you're cold. Keeps you nice and toasty down low. These guys here swing out. These are board racks to carry your surfboards and your wakeboards. Gives you a little extra space. And as if there wasn't enough seating already, you can actually move this back and it becomes another seat. Under here is a spot for a cooler. Now it's got a drain in the bottom so you can literally just throw ice and cans and whatever else in here or it comes with a cooler, so you can put a whole cooler in there and then pull it out like when you get to the sandbar or whatever. This down here is engine components and pumps and stuff like that. Back here, we have some more storage. These are both stored for all of our wakeboards and life vests and anything else we could need to throw in there. Or we could we could just put a dog in each of these. You guys can see they're plenty deep enough. So yeah, you guys can see we've got wake surfers down here. We've got our life vests, our ropes, cables, everything like that. I think eventually we're probably going to vlog or you guys will see some stuff on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. But uh, we absolutely love wake surfing. Back here is another cooler to keep all your dog treats and waters and stuff cool. Yeah, that's what it's and then of course this here is the swim platform as you guys saw Coop using it's right here right next to the water gives you easy access in and out good boy wow so yeah as we were saying the pontoon had a little bit more open area technically but when you look at the front area this middle area we've got these sun lounging pads we've got the swim platform i genuinely think this might even be a better boat for them as long as we can keep the hair and nails under control you know this is called a swim platform but i think it would be better as like a viewing platform yeah just watch watch the water i don't know about you guys but i'm honestly just shook that coda is actually hanging out next to the water boys come on it's hot let's get underway get off the back of the boat we got to get some air moving come on let's go coop come 94 degrees in the air 88 degrees in the water it is a doozy today very very hot we wanted to make sure we got this out for you guys the water's actually so low if we don't start getting rain soon and maybe even some hurricanes some hurricane vlogs uh we won't even be able to get the boat out off the lift like that that's how low the water is we have like four inches of space so hopefully we get some rain soon hopefully we can start taking this thing out we definitely want to do a tubing episode with the boys and i have seen a viral video of somebody wake surfing with a golden retriever behind a boat like this 
So that's my ultimate dream this summer is to recreate that. Ah, uh, cope, 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 cope. We're gonna have to learn some boundaries. I know the pontoon didn't really have boundaries. Koda, you are something else, buddy. I've never seen you this confident on anything new in your whole entire life. He does look majestic. My goodness, it's like him and this boat were made to be together. So one problem I foresee is when we're moving, the water comes up over the swim platform. I know somebody who likes the splash of water. So we gotta make sure he, he stays behaved. Good boys. I genuinely love this boat so much and I'm so happy they love it as well. This summer is gonna be incredible. We have so many cool things planned. You guys just stay tuned. So this here is a 550 horsepower supercharged engine. 550, there's more horsepower in this than in the GTR. Most of that is meant for lugging large amounts of weight around, like this boat will suck up a few thousand pounds of water to be able to create monster waves behind it. It's also pretty fast. Now it's not meant to go super fast. I think it'll top out around like 30, 32, something like that. Right now we're going about six. We're gonna put the boys in front and let's get up to like maybe 15 or so and just see what they think. You feel that, Coda? You feel that, Coop? Look at this thing fly. Oh my goodness. Does that feel good, buddy? Oh, do you like that? Is that better than the pontoon? I think it is. Oh gosh, we got waves. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Good boys. We've got one hot boy and a second hot boy, both hanging out under the shade of the canopy here, which is also another nice addition. Yes, it just much, stays yeah. up all the time instead of like the pontoon. But the last thing we want to show you guys, so we mentioned there's a 12 inch subwoofer under here, a 12 inch subwoofer under here, four six inch speakers up here. This is a speaker. This is a speaker that's, I mean, there's like 20 speakers on this yeah. boat. It's ridiculous. We figured the best way to use these speakers, hit it Chels. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! Good boy! Okay, we, we can cut it. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Nice little first boat episode. We don't want to keep them out here too long and get them too hot. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got a ton of exciting memories to be made on this thing this summer, here on the lake this summer, and just in general. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed and you're excited for the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out the Super Cooper channel. Top link down in the description. We'll see you guys later. Peace out. We couldn't leave without showing you guys the XFL. Come on, boys, let's go. Come on, good boy. Cool, let's go. Good boy, look at that, we already got it down. Cody, you can make this work if you want, but it's it's sketchy. I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe if we came across the cup holder here. Cody, come this way. Cody, come on. You're gonna have to make a decision at some point, brother. Okay, we're gonna go the other way, that's a good one. You realize, instead of using the tiny little area right here, you could just use... Dakota, look at that. There. Come here. Come on. Come, here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Look at us learning new skills. Good job. Come All right. Go here. up. See? Slow but sure. Dakota. Look that way, though. No, 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 no,